I took this Samsung Smart Tag with me halfway around the world from Vietnam back to Los Angeles, California, and then from Los Angeles, California, back to Vietnam. Now, originally I bought this smart tag because I had heard tons of horror stories of people having their luggage lost on connecting flights in the United States because of labor shortages and a bunch of other stuff. Now, I had some filming to do in Los Angeles. I had a couple of filmmaking items in that bag and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to lose it. So I bought one of these, I stuck it in the bag, and this was in my checked luggage the entire time. Now today, we're gonna to talk about what that experience was like, whether or not I thought it was worth the $30 or so that these cost right now, and whether or not you might wanna pick one up. What's up guys, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. And if you guys wanna go ahead and support this channel, the best way to do it is just to give the video a like. It helps me out a lot. Now I know that there's been a lot of content online about the Apple AirTags, but Samsung has their version of that as well. And they've actually had the Samsung Smart Tags for quite a while. Now the Samsung Smart Tags run on the Samsung Find My Network or on the Find My Galaxy Network, which is Samsung's equivalent to the Find My Network that Apple has. And really, you are going to have a very, very varied user experience depending upon what country you're in. Now first, here in Vietnam, when I got this, I put it on my motorbike, I tested it out, left my motorbike uh, in like the parking structure. I wanted to see if I was gonna get updates for this, how often those updates would be. And here in Vietnam, we have a fair amount of Samsung users, meaning that my coverage here was pretty good. On my, ch on my next stopover that I had in Tokyo, I had a 13 hour layover, which was horrendous. Japan is mostly an iPhone market. So my user experience and my ability to track my luggage as it was taken off of my plane, was just sitting around waiting and then loaded onto another plane was definitely limited because Japan has significantly less Samsung Galaxy users than Vietnam. Now on my next stopover that I had in Honolulu, Hawaii, because that's America, America has a ton of Samsung Galaxy users, meaning I had great visibility with this tag when I got to the United States. And my the same experience was there for me all around Los Angeles. Because of the amount of Samsung users, these smart tags were quite effective. Now this version of the smart tag is not the smart tag plus, meaning it doesn't have the ultra wideband Bluetooth to give you the augmented reality to find it. That said, I've heard very mixed reports about the Smart Tag Plus, about their battery life, and about other issues. And I think that if you just are looking to get something to put on your checked luggage to track it, this is probably a better option unless you absolutely need that ultra wideband. Now, would I buy this again for international travel? Definitely, without a doubt especially if you're going to have layovers in places and there's the possibility of your bag not making it on your flight. Specifically for that, I think that this is incredibly valuable and an awesome tool. Now, would I buy this without the need for international travel? Probably yes, still. At least here in Vietnam, Parking in huge parking structures, underground or even above ground, finding your motorcycle can be a headache. And the ability to have this and being able to kind of like ping it if I'm walking through a huge parking garage looking for my bike can be extremely valuable. Or I can just put this on my keys and never lose my keys again. I think for the asking price for the older version of the Samsung Smart Tags being right around the $30 mark, it kind of hits that sweet spot for convenience and practicality for a tech accessory. And I think that anyone that has a Samsung device or that's in the Samsung ecosystem should definitely pick one of these Smart Tags up. Now, unfortunately, I tried to install the SmartThings app on my Google Pixel 6a, because as you guys know, as you guys know, I live on a busy street and have to deal with that all the time. But as you guys know, I have both a Pixel and a Samsung S21 Plus. 
Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any functionality out of my, out of my Google Pixel 6a when I installed that app. It said I needed to have a Samsung device. So unfortunately, this isn't open to all Android devices, but I guess you could partially say that's kind of the Samsung walled garden approach. But for 30 bucks, what do you guys think? Do you have a need for something like this? Would you buy something like this? And more importantly, do you think that all Android phones should be able to just use kind of a universal find my Android network type of thing? Is it time for Google to roll out smart trackers? I think so. What about you?